I'm having a great time in New Orleans. It has ver been very fun. It's nice to, I live in New York and it's good to be away from there. I'm in a good mood. I was having a rough week in New York. People are mean to me in New York. I live in Brooklyn and I just get heckled on the street all day. I was walking down the street the other day and a guy called me a Big Bang Theory looking motherfucker, so <laughs> it's good to be away from there. Um, he didn't even name a guy from the show. Isn't that messed up? He was like, you're the whole thing. Can I have a picture? We took a picture. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I, get, I get shit all day on the street in Brooklyn, partially because I'm ethnically ambiguous and people are always trying to figure out where I'm coming from, you know? Like I was sitting in the park the other day trying to meditate. Yeah, meditator, as I call it, liberal prayer. And this guy saw me and he goes, go back to Guatemala. <laughs> he said Guatemala, that is so specific, man. That's like a racist Hail Mary to throw, you know? He's like, if that lands, that dude's going back to Guatemala tonight. It's over for that dude. I'm gonna win my pool. <laughs> I'm not from the beautiful land of Guatemala. I'm half Indian, in case you're trying to guess. Yeah, a little half Indian boy. Hell yeah, weird thing to woo at. Um, I, am, I am half Indian. Sometimes when I tell people that, they'll say this fun thing where they're like, oh, half Indian, huh? Feather or dot? Yeah, you ever heard that before? Some of you have said it. I can feel it. I know where we are. Um, feather dot. What a fun, flirty way. <laughs> to marginalize two cultures, you know, with two words. What racist efficiency, right? Like, I want to be racist, but quick. I got shit to do today. I ain't got all goddamn day to be putting your little ass down, all right? Pop quiz, hot shot, feather or not. Keep it moving. Like, oh, okay. I'm on your time, I guess. Feather or not. I'm going to start doing that to white people, yeah. Next time I meet a white person, I'm going to be like, oh, white, huh? Potato or Nazi? <laughs> see how they like it. Yeah. <laughs> see if they enjoy it. Yeah. 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 I am a dot, by the way. I know it's bothering some of you. That's fine. <laughs> dot? I know the shirt had you fooled. Um, <laughs> this shirt says feather all over it, baby. <laughs> dot is fine, you know. As far as slurs go, nobody cares about dot, you know. Dot's not even really a slur, you know, because you have to say something angrily for it to be a slur, right? Right? And nobody's ever said dot angrily. <laughs> nobody's ever like, hide your curry. Some fucking dots just walked in. <laughs> Looks like a goddamn game of Pac-Man in here. <laughs> All these dots floating around. Is that an ellipsis that just walked in my bar? <laughs> Three dots in a row, huh? <laughs> you got some nerve. Yeah, I'll do ellipsis humor. I'm not afraid. Um, I'm brave. <laughs> you might notice I don't have, like, an Indian accent at all uh, because my Indian father left before I ever heard his voice. So this is what I sound like. I, it's, it's a bummer, so I can't do, like, a fun, racist impression of him that I'm sure we'd all enjoy, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'll try one. I don't want to bum you guys out. <laughs> My dad would be like, uh, I do not want to be a father. Is that good? I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Not to my house. Um, yeah. I've had four different Indian people come to me after shows and be like, hey, man, your dad probably left because there's a lot of pressure in Indian culture to not have like mixed race children. It's like a weird thing from the older generations, but he was probably just like ashamed or something. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, cool, thanks. Thanks for the good news. I feel much better. Uh, a lot of healing done tonight. <laughs> my dad actually died a few years ago because my vision board worked and uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. he, was, he was dead to me already, but I was playing with a Ouija board recently. Yeah, I was getting all spooky and kooky with a Ouija board. And my friend was like, let's get a little spookier, you know, a little kookier. So we tried to contact my father with the Ouija board, yeah, and nothing happened. And my friend was like, oh, it's not working. And I was like, no, this is so my dad. Um, LAUGHTER